What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Mike and today's video is going to be about Deep League Sleepers. One of the more requested videos in the comment section so I'm pumped to bring it to you. But before we jump in, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and make sure to follow us on Twitter at Fantasy underscore Puck for daily updates. If you want access to our premium tools, our projections, draft sheet, trade analyzer, and more, make sure you head over to our Patreon. Without further ado, let's jump into the Deep League Sleepers video. The first Deep League Sleeper that I would look to draft is Alexander Holtz of the New Jersey Devils. The 2027th overall pick is one of the top prospects in the NHL right now, especially after a strong performance in his first pro season. Holtz scored 26 goals, 51 points in just 52 AHL games last season as a 19-year-old on a pretty strong Utica Comets team. Scouting reports on Holtz indicate that this guy is a sniper and he's known for his offensive instincts. This makes him very intriguing. Now, I'm not 100% certain that he will crack the NHL roster this year, but early looks in preseason have Holtz skating alongside Palat and Jack Hughes on the second line, and he's been playing on the team's top power play unit. Logically, I just don't see how they send this guy down to start the season if they have him playing in the top six and on the top power play unit. Not to mention he was called up last season, but he didn't really have that much to show for it. Just nine games, two assists, a minus five rating, and 12 shots and he played under 12 minutes. If Holtz can land a spot on the NHL roster, and if the preseason looks are correct, Holtz will not only be a favorite to win the Calder this year, but he can actually have a really strong season for your fantasy team. Now, I wouldn't draft Holtz in a 10-12 team league right now, but in 14 leagues or more, I would look to draft Holtz in about round 14 and beyond. Moving on, the next deep league sleeper that I love this season is Jack Quinn of the Buffalo Sabres. Quinn was the next pick in the draft after Holtz was taking the 2020 draft, 8th overall, and similar to Holtz, Quinn lit up the AHL in his first pro season. After scoring 52 goals in the OHL in 2019, Holtz followed that up in 2021 with a 26-goal, 61-point season in just 45 games, and he was named the AHL's top rookie last season. He did get a call-up late in the season last year, and the Sabres trusted him enough to play him on the top power play unit. In his two games, Quinn notched his first career goal and first career assist, but got pretty unlucky and suffered a lower body injury, which kept him out for the rest of the season. Early looks in preseason have Quinn skating alongside two stud prospects in Dylan Cousins and JJ Paterka, both who actually could be named in this video. If Quinn can find himself in a top six role this season and even make the second power play unit, he could be in line for a 25 goal, 50 point campaign in his rookie season. Again, this is a deep league sleeper video, so I would be drafting Quinn in around 12 to 14 in 14 team leagues or more. Speaking of players who are getting early looks in a top 6 role, Anton Lundell of the Florida Panthers has been playing on the top line for the majority of preseason. I can't seem to get away from this 2020 draft class, but this must mean something, right? Maybe this draft class is going to be one to remember, but with the 12th overall pick, Florida chose Anton Lundell, who actually had a breakout season last year. I remember first seeing Lundell on Team Finland in the World Juniors. Not only was he the captain, but he was a massive part of their team. In this first NHL season, Lundell was outstanding, 65 games, 18 goals, 44 points, a plus 33 rating, and 125 shots, a 23 goal, 56.82 game pace. As a 20-year-old on the third line in his first NHL season, these are exceptional numbers. I viewed Lundell as more of a two-way center, similar to Barkov, but he did prove last season that he does have offensive upside. As I mentioned at the start, Lundell has been skating on the top line with Barkov and Verhage, a duo who has over 1,100 minutes of sample size, and this includes a 60% Corsi 4 percentage and a 65% Goals 4 percentage. The Panthers clearly see huge potential out of Lundell, and that means he has huge potential in fantasy. In deep leagues, Lundell is a perfect pick in the 12th to 14th round to give you big scoring upside and assist in that pesky plus minus category. Moving on to defensemen now, the first defenseman deep league sleeper that I love this season is Kalen Addison of the Minnesota Wild. Now I have to give credit where credit's due. FP Don shouted this out in the early going, and if you're following us on Twitter, you knew about him about a week ago. Addison was a big part of the trade that sent Jason Zucker to Pittsburgh, and the former second round pick may have a big role this season for the Wild. He's been skating in the top four role at practice, and has been quarterbacking the Wild's top power play. We know that Minnesota has struggled in the past to find a defenseman to quarterback their top power play unit. Dumba, Spurgeon, Brodeen are all two-way or defensive defensemen, and it now looks like Addison is the next man up. After a solid 34-point performance in 43 AHL games last year, 
Addison is poised to have a strong season if our information is correct. Head coach Dean Evanson has been praising Addison this preseason, and if this is any indication for what's to come, Addison is a solid late round sleeper. I like him near the end of your draft, if not at the end. If he ends up being in the top four role and power play one, he will provide extremely good value for where you drafted him. The final deep league sleeper for this video is Martin Fehavari of the Washington Capitals. Man, I really hope I pronounced his name right. Please don't roast me that bad. Fehavari had an excellent rookie season. Honestly, I've never really heard of him prior to last year, and he actually ended up on my roster near the end of the season in my big league. He has locked a spot on the top pairing with John Carlson. Although he plays more of a shutdown role, the opportunity to skate with top players gives him solid point upside. But honestly, we're not drafting him for the points. In 79 games, Fehavari scored 17 points, 96 shots, 117 blocks, and 251 hits. He is one of just 5 defensemen with at least 90 shots, 100 blocks, and 200 hits that can honestly be compared to a poor man's Jacob Truba. In his first full season, Fehavari played just over 19 minutes per night, but did see close to 20 minutes in the second half of the season. We can safely assume that the 23-year-old will see an uptick in minutes in his second full NHL season and can be a category beast for you in the later rounds. I like Fayavari similar to the others in about round 12 to 14 and 14 team leagues. That will do it for a deep league sleepers video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.